Hello and welcome to um, a little crafting and today we're going to do how to make fake paint. Now it's not exactly fake paint but it's just something that looks really cool and it looks as if you've probably painted on it. And there's another one here, it's a fiery one this one. Um, and then here's another of the galaxy type ones. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to make one of these um, just by using a couple of pens. I'm using quite a lot. Um, so I'm using these colours. Um, but obviously you can use um, these if you want to make a fire kind of one. Um, but I'm going to use these colours. So I've got black, blue, purple, pink, purpley pinkish and a reddish purplish um, thing so anyway let's get started so get a piece of paper and um, it can be any size or shape but I'm just going to use a square one for this um, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lightest colour which is my pink and I'm just going to draw that just scribble on it in the middle so I'm going to make one that will look a bit like a galaxy but obviously uh, I could put the black in the middle if I wanted to. And then I'm going to get my second lightest colour and kind of just draw around it and kind of make a kind of square shape. You don't have to do this again, you can just do it in any squiggly way. I'm going to do a bit in there too. Um, then I'm going to get my purple and I'm going to do some lines kind of around here. Um, I'm just going to get a better one. Lines around here um, to make it look just like that. Um, and then do a bit of a squiggle around there. Um, I'm also going to get my red quickly and do around there, along there and just a quick squiggle. Um, then once I've done that um, I'm going to do, I'm going to get my black um, and I'm going to do a bit around the edges just kind of um, so when we put the water on it then um, it will just like kind of make the black, the edges like kind of nice and black. I'm also going to put kind of strokes all around it, but not a squiggle because we don't want it to turn too black because black can overwhelm it. And then we just put some blue around here. Um, but if you were doing the fire one, you would just do the same kind of thing. Um, the lighter colours um, go to the darker colours. And I actually would put a bit of blue in because fire can sometimes be blue. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show you a quick thing of how to do the fire one after this. So once you've done this, you're going to get some water. So I've just got some water here and a brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it um, and I'm just going to get my brush and wet it. And I'm just going to stroke it along. Now it doesn't look like it's doing much, but it will eventually look really cool. Just like what we've got so far. Um, and continue dipping it in and just go round and round um, and I'm doing it on some paper and also a cloth because um, uh, it would it's good to recycle it the paper and also we don't want any wa uh, water to drip um, onto your surface so make sure it doesn't drip um, and just continue stroking round uh, and it will eventually start kind of going like this um, and kind of going together um, which should look pretty cool um, and continue dipping it into the thing now this doesn't look like much but now I'm gonna get a, a bit of purple I'm just gonna do a line along there squiggle and um, because it actually helps quite a lot if um, you add more colour as you go along. Also I can see some white bits around here that um, I think could use a bit more colour so I'm going to get some blue colour in um, and basically just um, add different colours until you think it looks pretty good um, and then just spin it around a bit um, making you make it as dark or light as you want it to be um, and it will end up looking really cool. Now, as you can see, the black has actually um, went a bit uh, kind of 
lighter, which looks quite good because it kind of merges with the blue a tiny bit, um, and it makes it look even better than it already looks. Now, you need, basically just need to dry it now, because it needs dried, um, so it will look like this. Now, this is one I did earlier, and uh, this will eventually look like that. And we'll send a video later on when it's dried. It only takes a tiny amount of time to dry. But if you want it to go quicker, just pick it up and blow on it. Um, because it makes it dry quicker. Um, so, yeah. Now, I'm not going to show you it dried just now. But just leave it on the piece of paper for it to dry. Um, and as you can see, this bit of paper has got a lot of the colour kind of dripped through from it. And the cloth has uh, sipped up any water that has come through there too. Um, but this actually ends up looking quite cool. You can put it on a drawing you've done and just pop, pop it on. And when it dries, so if you look there, when it dries, um, you can take it off and you can bounce it on a bit. And it should make quite a cool imprint um, on it. Uh, so you can actually make kind of two things in one. So a cool thing like that. Um, there's uh, this, you can make it into a galaxy, as I think I said at the start of the video. Um, and uh, the fire, you can draw fire marks on it after you've done it. And it'll look quite cool too. Um, and then this one was just the first time we did it. And like um, if you quite like these kind of fold things in it, you can just fold it in like that when you do it and then when you it dries it'll be kind of cool and make quite a nice texture so you can fold like into textures and stuff to make it look better if you want it to look like that um so that's that video and uh we hope you enjoyed and we'll do it dried later okay bye hope you enjoyed um see you next time on a little crafty